Hello and welcome, Bill Sklodowski here with another exciting edition of iPhone Friday. Uh, if you've been with us for the past few weeks, you know we've been talking pretty much exclusively about the new release of the uh, latest updated iPhone and iPad software called iOS 14. iOS stands for iPhone Operating System or iPad Operating System. Clever how it all works into iOS, right? And uh, we've been using both the Wednesday and the Friday videos to talk a little bit about the um, new features and functions and all of that. Want to use this iPhone Friday uh, to get us started on the whole idea of widgets. And uh, widgets are not really new to the, your iPhone or your iPad, but the way that this new iOS 14 kind of implements them or lets you use them, completely different. Some have used that fancy overworked term game changer. Um, and it kind of might be, depending on how you uh, use your phone and how you like to access information on it. So let's kind of dig into that. And uh, of course, as we go, we'll uh, take a look at that. Now, again, probably not going to be the uh, be all end all video today. In fact, I guarantee that we'll have more to talk about. I want to introduce you to the concept of these new widgets, how to get them onto your screens and, and how to start using them. But I'm sure it's going to take a little bit more time. So if you have questions, of course, always feel free to uh, add them here. Uh, if you're watching live on Facebook, thank you. If you're watching on YouTube or on the blog, BillSklodowski.com, wherever you leave a comment or a question, I read them all personally and uh, respond to them. And of course, if you have good questions, then maybe that's our next video. So widgets, let's get back to the home screen here. If you have seen any of the new TV commercials or videos, or if you've gone to YouTube and there's a million different videos um, about the uh, iOS 14 software, you're going to know that the big stuff, <laughs> right? This is the change they're talking about is these uh, widgets, which if you remember, uh, and if you've worked with your iPhone or your iPad at all in the past, that when you would scroll of course, normally you scroll from, you know, from right to left to get to additional screens. We know that. But there was always that one additional screen that if, even if you were on the home screen and you press the home button or you use the home, you know, screen to get to the home, if you still went from left to right one more time, there were these widgets there. And they're still there and you can still use them and they're still in there just as they were before. But I probably am going to guess that they're going to become a lot less important or a lot less used because you can put the ones that you want and you use most often right on your home screen or any screen. I mean, if you have another screen, if you have a second screen, you can put them there as well. So widgets basically are a small version of an app or a way that an app can communicate information to you without you actually opening the full version of the app. And the most popular one probably that most people use is something like the weather or their stock market list. If you have stocks that you trade, you know, or that you're watching, you know, I, I would have that as a widget. A lot of people, like I said, use the clock or the weather or whatever on one of those widgets, but you have to remember to scroll to it by using that last left to right swipe to get to it on your home screen of your iPhone or your iPad. Well, like we said, now, there it is. You can put a widget right on the main screen or any of the screens that you have on your phone. So, what are they and how would I know if I wanted to use one or not? Well, right out of the box, uh, Apple has a whole bunch of widgets that it's kind of pre-configured to use for your phone or your iPad. And also, as this catches on, and it's going to catch on, app developers, those are the software companies that write the apps, you know, that create the little apps for your phone or your iPad, they're going to catch on to this and they're going to probably start offering more of them as well. And I've already seen this with a couple of like email programs that I've used and other, uh, you know, popular apps that they're going to offer these widgets that let you do things without actually opening the full app to get into it. All right, let's get into it a little more. So how do I get these on my screen? How do I navigate to find them and then also, you know, 
add them to my screen and what do I have available? Well, the answer is simple and that is you use the same trick that we've used in the past to edit the home screen. Now, they've made one change and I think we talked about this in one of our previous videos, but if we haven't, it's, it's all good. Remember, normally we would talk about when we wanted to edit a, a widget or, excuse me, edit an app or the home screen or move things around, you would do that long press thing on one of the app buttons, which basically just means just lay your finger on it for a while. Like if I lay my finger on the contacts button there for a few seconds, I get uh, you know, uh, a menu that pops up and one of the options is edit home screen. That's still there, that still works. What they've added and changed is now you can do that same long press thing where you just lay your finger on it and wait a few seconds right anywhere on a blank piece of screen. So see down at the bottom there of my screen, there's some open real estate where there are no apps, there's just the wallpaper. So if I put my finger right on that and just lay on it for a few seconds, well now everything starts to jiggle again, same as always. But look up in the upper right corner there, there's a new big plus sign. And that's where the widgets are, okay? So again, just to review, lay your finger somewhere on the screen that there isn't any app, okay? Wait for two seconds, three seconds, and then look for the big plus sign up in the upper right corner. Tap on that, and now you're going to see that you have this new drawer or this new folder that says search for widgets, okay? Now, I need to apologize because we're recording and connected and the phone's on Wi-Fi, all kinds of stuff. That These widgets appear blank white on my screen, but when you open them up on your screen, there's going to be little, there's going to be stuff there. <laughs> there's going to be, you know, icons and apps and colors and text and all sorts of things, okay? So... Don't worry if you don't, you know, if you don't see this white stuff. Like, for example, look at Spark over there. That's an email app. All right, it shows what it would normally look like, some email stuff. The one at the top there, the one that shows maps, that has a map in it. Very cool. But there's other ones. There's like photos and reminders and uh, airmail, another email app. Uh, notes for your iOS notes. They would actually show content material from that and, and honestly I'm not 100% sure why it's not here but it might be because you know we're all online and you know who knows okay so anyway let's let's get back to that again long press you know hang on let me check my settings here am I uh, connected yeah I'm connected to Wi-Fi all right just just check on there <laughs> long press on a blank piece of screen tap on that uh, tap on that X in the upper right corner bring up the widgets drawer or folder, whatever you choose to call it. And these are all the pre-made widgets that are ready for you to use. Maps, photos, uh, the reminders list, uh, calendar stuff, a email, notes, clock, music, you know, news. And then beneath that, you also have some of, other, some of the other ones that may not have been listed above. SmartStack is big and important and probably going to be next week's video because I really want to get this intro out of the way. But then here's all the other ones that you could have, uh, you know, widgets for. You know, different apps like Google and Maps and Music and Notes and Photos. So all kinds of stuff there. And more being added all the time. Okay, so don't, you know, this isn't the, the, the full list by any stretch. But let's pick one. Let's go to Reminders, for example, here. Now, if I tap on Reminders or any of the widgets, all right, usually I'm going to get a choice of several different sizes for this widget. Now, as you can see down at the bottom there, there's the three spots, three dots, just like the screens, just like the page indicator that we've talked about. So I can see a basic square widget or swipe over one more. Now I get the kind of, you know, wider one, and then I can swipe even one more and get a bigger one. So I have my choice. I can have a small one, or a wide one, or a big one, okay? <laughs> Technical terms. I'm pretty sure those aren't the real words. But let's pick this middle one. I don't know. It seems to be easy. And then at the bottom, add widget. Pretty obvious, right? So I tap on it, I add it, and there it is, all right? So now as I add widgets, oops, as I add widgets, I can move them around just like I would any other app on the phone. So if I tap on it and hold it, I can drag it down and the other apps will get out of the way. Or I can drag it to another screen and the other apps will get out of the way. And when I let go, it stays. All right. 
And when I push the home button, it locks it in place. You're familiar with that when we've talked about that with other, um, uh, with, you know, moving apps around on the home screen, right? So there we go. So now I have this reminders app that shows me my inbox in my reminders app and shows me the first few reminders that I have. Now, as you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, iPhone Wednesday, bills ready, zing, freebies. I have no idea what that is. All right, knowledge and tech. Okay, plus three more. It's just showing me some of the very basics of what's in that list. And it's a good thing because I can use it to quickly review. In other words, I don't have to open the reminders app. You know, I just look at this and I go, oh, I got some things that I need to take care of, right? But if I do need to get into the Reminders app, all it takes literally is a tap right on the widget and it opens it up. It opens it up to the inbox, right? So that works, let's go back, that works with all the different widgets that you have, all right? So again, long press on a piece of real estate, tap on, <laughs> tap on the plus sign, upper right, choose your widget, all right? And again, you could have uh, the photo one is cute. It basically scrolls through your most recent photos on your phone. Um, there's another one for a calendar app. There's the email. The notes one I find super helpful as well. You could, you know, tap on that and now you can have, do I want a single, you know, note? Do I want a bigger one, bigger one? Note. So again, they're not all going to be the same in terms of the options they offer for sizes and information that they offer. But play with it. It's it's not, it, it doesn't, let's rewind a little. Play with it. <laughs> and if you don't like it, delete it. Because it doesn't affect the app. And this is important. It doesn't delete the app from your phone. And it doesn't delete any data from that app. It just deletes the widget from your home screen if you don't like it. So feel free. So in other words, um, you know, I'm using this, um, you know, I'm using this reminders app and yeah, I'm not really, yeah, I'm not into it. It's not doing anything for me. All right. So again, long press anywhere on the screen, get everybody to jiggle just like normal. Same as always, there's that minus sign in the upper left corner of the widget, tap on it. And now it's like, do you want to remove the reminders widget? And it even says right there, removing this widget will not delete any data or any apps. So it's kind of a little reassurance there. So remove and off it goes and then I'm done. Okay. You can open them, play with them, choose the size that you want to display the information, right? And then also you can delete it if you want with no loss of the app or any of its information. Let's go back and put one more on there just to, to show a little bit about that. All right. So again, long press, wait for the plus sign, grab it, maps. Okay. So again, I can choose the little square one, the wide one, or the full one, same as always. I'm gonna choose that one, I don't know, it just seems to be most helpful. And then I'm done. Now, one last thing, and that is you can edit or at least change the information within that map itself, right? So if I tap and hold on the map itself, it's gonna offer me some options. Oh, let's go back and do that again. If I press and hold on the app itself, it's gonna offer me some options if they are available, all right? So this one, not so much. I can edit the screen, I can remove the widget, I can do whatever I want, all right? Over here, you know, that now I have some other options, like I can edit the calendar, all right? One of the options for this widget, this is a calendar widget, right? So if I choose to edit the calendar, it's gonna say, oh, which one do you want, you know, which calendar do you wanna show? You might have more than one calendar. You might have a personal calendar, a business, a work, a family calendar you can choose which one to show, right? So there's gonna be different options within the widgets as to how, what kind of information they're gonna to show to you. So just keep that in mind. And the way you get that, again, just like any other widget, is you press and hold right on it until it starts to jiggle and the menu opens up. I'm gonna remove that one. I don't really use that, so there we go. All right, now one last one and that's a popular one. And you might've seen it on my other page here. That looks like a page full of apps, doesn't it? And it kind of is. But the top two rows, right? The top two rows there are actually a, a widget. And that widget is the Siri Suggestions widget. And you might have seen that on that widget page. If we go back to that very first widget page here, you might have one, you might someday have seen the Siri Suggestions widget over there. And what it does basically, let's go back to that is it the phone, the software on the phone, keeps track 
of the apps that you use most often or most recently and puts them up there. Like today, that top one is my, uh, is my online bank. And I was checking some stuff on my bank, so it's the last one I used. There's the Walmart app. I was shopping at Walmart yesterday. They have a very cool app. All right, there's the settings. I was using those, etc. Now, normally you wouldn't even know that that's a widget, but old trick, or trick that you just learned, press and hold, wait, and see, look, they're all contained within one container, within one widget container, right? And if I tap on the minus sign there, it's going to say you want to remove the Siri Suggestions widget. And again, as it says, removing the widget doesn't delete any apps or data, so you're safe, okay? Or not, and I can cancel that, all right? So again, that's one that you might see in your list of, uh, you know, if you open up and go to the widgets, you might see a Siri Suggestions uh, app in here. Uh, let's go down. There it is, Siri Suggestions, right? And I like that one because it keeps track of the most used apps that you, you know, used recently or that you use often. And it keeps them up in front of my face there. And it's like, oh, I need settings. It's always there for me, right? And again, that goes back to the thing that I talked about uh, either Wednesday or the last iPhone Friday video. And that is keeping things neat. I'm one of those neat freaks when it comes to my screen. I get it. So I only have one screen at the home screen and it doesn't even fill the screen with apps. I have a second one that has the Siri Suggestions app at the top and a few other spares at the bottom. And that's it. That's all I have. One more swipe, I get to the app library, and we talked all about that, uh, you know, in a, re in, a, in a previous video. So if you're one of those people that, like, it's like, I got screens and screens and screens full of apps and folders, and I just don't need all that stuff. Remember, we talked about how you can turn that on and off and only show certain screens. There you go. All right. That's going to do it for today. Actually, that was, uh, that was a lot of stuff, and uh, I hope it made sense to you, and I'm trying to keep it just, you know, short, sweet, and to the point, compact with just the things that we need for this uh, one topic at a time. Next time, we're going to get into more um, how to actually create your own widgets, and you can actually stack widgets on top of each other, which is super cool and gives you a really the next level of function that you can do with these widgets, but I think this is enough for today, and then we'll move into that one next week. So there you go. All right. If you haven't yet, please feel free to uh, jump over to the website, to BillSkladowski.com. I'll put that up there, uh, where you can get on the mailing list and get yourself. Uh, we only send out one email a week, usually on a Sunday afternoon, which uh, gives you the previous two videos. So like if you subscribe today, Sunday, you'll get an email that says, hey, on iPhone Friday, we talked about putting widgets on your phone. So it'll have a link to the video so you can go and watch it again if you uh, want to see it again or if you missed it. And then also we have a handout, a free handout like we do in class. Yeah, I know I'm an old school teacher. So, you know, a, a classroom handout of the things that we just covered and how you can do the things that we just talked about. And all that's free. Just go over to BillSkolodowski.com, uh, click on that button there right in the uh, center of the homepage and uh, give us your email and we'll send you that email once a week. There you go. All right, again. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to share them wherever you're watching this. If you think this would be helpful to a friend or colleague, please feel free to share it, you know, with them. That's awesome, too. Have yourself a great weekend. We'll see you next week for another edition of What's New Wednesday and iPhone Friday. And if something pops up in between now and then that needs our attention, we'll address that, too. <laughs> have a great weekend. Thanks. Bye-bye.